this is Brittany with the crafting spot welcome to the channel happy new year uh, today we will be doing a onesie with glitter vinyl it's going to be applying it with the knockout method uh, since you can't or subtract method since you can't layer vinyl this is a great alternative uh, some of the colors that we'll be using we'll be using uh, the Caesar glitter HTV these colors And I'm also going to be using a football printable vinyl. It cuts just like regular vinyl. Uh, has the carrier sheet already on it. Cut it face down and we like normal. All of that came from Clean Cut Graphics. I will include a link in the description below. Now when you're pressing with your HTV, be sure to use the manufacturer settings or the recommended temperatures and pressing times. A lot of people will just guess and do whatever they want and they'll either burn it uh, or not press it enough and it eventually will not hold up so when you're pressing I'm using a baby bodysuit also known as a onesie but that word is trademark so a baby bodysuit be sure to pre-press it that's just going to get some of the moisture out and it, it will ensure that you get a good press. You will we'll probably need a pressing pillow, a towel or something, because as you can see, these edges make it raised so the space here is not flat. I've already got my heat press on and warmed up, and we're just gonna go ahead and apply. Now in this design, the gold is the outside, so I'm going to actually press it flat first. If I'm trying to get a, a line as a starting point, you could fold it in half and pre-press. This is going to be off a little bit. But that's one way when you're doing larger shirts that you have it lined up with the center. Now the design that I'm doing has a point. So, there you go. So I know that I can line it up on that line. So it has two points, top and the bottom. Yeah, that's the beginning of the design. <laughs> As you saw in there, I accidentally forgot my Teflon sheet. But be sure to do that so that you don't burn the design. We're going to move on to the next piece of it. So, in case you can't tell, this is going to be a Saints design. Uh, instead of layering it or instead of cutting it all out, I'm going to substitute the white for the shirt. So, everywhere that is supposed to be white, the shirt will shine through. And then I'll have all of the other colors for the rest of the design. Now, you notice the point on the gold, it did not cut on this piece. So, I ungrouped the design and cut the top piece out here. And I'll add it last because words will be in the middle so I'll know where it lines up. Now, as you can see, the design is complete and instead of being laid on top of each other, it's completely flat. So. Everything where the white was supposed to be, the shirts shines through. And then there's an offset on the letters so that it will all be flat against the shirt and nothing's layered on top of each other. Okay, it's ready to press. I had to let the heat press cool off a little bit because it presses at a little bit of a, a cooler temperature than the HTV. But we're gonna go ahead I've already pre-pressed the onesie and we will apply the final piece. Thanks for watching. Comment below with questions, comments, or requests for future tutorials. Join us on Facebook. I'll include the link in the description and it should be flashing on the screen as well. Um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the tutorials this year. And visit the blog, www.thecraftingspot.com. Um, I'll have some of the step-by-steps from some of the videos as well as other crafting projects there as well. 
So this has been Brittany. As always, be crafty. See you next time.